vlog. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I got the windows down. Let me roll it up a little bit so I can hear me better for a moment. So yeah, you guys really like my last vlog. So I decided to go ahead and do another one. Today I'm not really doing too much, but Bath and Body Works is having a sale. So I'm about to go over there and uh, see what that's talking about real quick. I also want to try out some of their laundry detergent because they just dropped like some laundry stuff for whatever recently. They got a lot of new stuff. I seen they got shampoos, conditioners. They got all kind of new stuff going on. So we're going to go tap in at the mall over here and go see what's happening. Um, also, what we finna do, we finna probably get some food um, at this spot called Panini. It's like this Mediterranean spot. So we're going to the mall real quick, gonna do a little bit of hygiene shopping. I'm also gonna go ahead and get some uh, skincare, possibly from Target. So I might pull up over there to Target real quick and see if I can get some skincare. I know Elf has a lot of stuff. I got like some pimples and stuff going on, so I need to take care of that. So we're gonna go get some affordable skincare because I'm not spending uh, hundreds of dollars on skincare. Certain products is cool, but I don't know. It's like only certain products that I'm willing to like actually spend money on. Other than that, I'm not doing all that. <laughs> like I'm just not and I know people feel like oh because you spent more it's a better product but that don't necessarily mean nothing at all sometimes we be spending more for no reason at all just to say we spent more so there that is but anyways I'm driving right now I gotta pay attention y'all so I will tap in with y'all once I get to the mall normally I'm quick to switch up my see why i say today was such a beautiful freaking day today is so beautiful outside i was just like girl i gotta go out and the sale ends in like i think two days or so but i'll be busy uh, the next couple of days i'm actually gonna be busy even later on today i have a lot of work to do i have to film a lot of videos um, I'm actually going to be house sitting for my sister for about a week or so. So I'm trying to film everything before I leave to go to her house because I just really don't want to have to like bring all my stuff with me to try to film in her house. So anyways, you guys, let's go to the mall. So excited. Let's see what Bath and Body Works got. Hopefully these hoes ain't bought everything up. We'll see.
I see this one. This one smells really good. It's a new one. I think I'm gonna pick these two up. The hand cream and the lotion. But they also got shampoos now though, and conditioner. Let me show y'all real quick since ain't nobody over here. That's looking like. This is everything that I got so far. I'm gonna try to wind it down. I have this uh, lotion at home, so I'm gonna just get this body wash. Excuse me, where can I find the new fragrances that you guys have? They're like the dupes. The ones that's supposed to be like dupes or something like that? Those, those, and some extras for sleeping, and they're wearing a little Oh, you guys don't have them here? No, so I have to like order it online or something? Probably online. Glendale be so crowded. I hate going to Glendale. That's why I like coming here. Okay, that's okay. Thank you. This is like some old lady shit. So after I left Bath and Body Works, I went to go get me something to eat from this place called Panini Grill. And I just want you to pay attention to this lady right here. You see how she see me and it walks off? She looked right at me, walked off. And you see her right there with that ponytail. Now you see this family right here? This is also going to play a big part. So look at all these people, okay? It's a big old family that came to eat right with me, right? Now, I want y'all to see how, first of all, I had to wait so long for somebody to come help me. That lady saw me walking up and she walked away. So I'ma just, you know, whatever. She walked back behind that counter right there and I didn't see her for a minute. So I was really standing here for, I would say, maybe about like five minutes or so before somebody came to sit me down. And I was so irritated by that. This whole dining experience was really terrible. The last time that I came here, it was perfectly fine. But this time, I really did not like the service. But I'm going to let y'all watch this part of the vlog. And we're going to get into it after I leave because it actually got worse. Hey y'all, so now I'm about to give me some food at Panini. I love Panini. It's literally one of my favorite restaurants. It reminds me of my old job because we used to get this for lunch all the time. I already know what I want. I want that chicken kebab place. The food is here. That should look amazing. Don't talk to me. Oh my god, like all the me though. You feel me? It's just a good fucking day, man. They ain't bringing me my water. I got a story about it. I'll talk about it later. I mean, my um, my women for my water. Yeah, it's beneath it. My boo got me on that, so I'm on that. You feel me? The way she not getting a tip is crazy. She ain't working for a tip at all. She ain't checked on me. She didn't bring me my motherfucking lemon when I asked for it. I ain't giving this whole thing Nobody else got lemon in it. They got that whole table over there. That shit pissed me off. And I've been here for at least like 20 minutes. She ain't checked on me no more. Like 
places and getting poor service you know what i'm saying like i would have sat there and ate my food but like i'm like one of the people like once i'm mad i can't enjoy my food because i'm irritated so i'm finna go eat in the comfort of my home and get me a little bottle because today is saturday and i'm gonna relax until i got to work later on tonight so that's pretty much the play i was gonna go to target and go get some skincare stuff but Right now, I'm just ready to go home and eat this food because I'm hungry as fuck. I'm hungry as fuck, cuz. And I got everything I wanted from uh, Bath and Body Works. So I'm happy about that. Yeah, we finna get in my little bins and drive back home. Hey, bro. I love my car. People keep telling me, like, you need to upgrade your car. Like, girl, my car is paid off. Like, I get it if I was driving like a bucket and like my shit was just like fucked up. But I don't care nothing about trying to keep up with the Joneses. I'm gonna drive my old Benz, but it look it still look good. You know what I'm saying? It still look good. Hi police, why are you looking at me, ho? Girl, I can't stand the fucking police. And that's white police too. But anyway. <sighs> Burbank got me fucked up, y'all. I'm at the Burbank Mall. I mean, it's nothing but, like, it's not many black people that be over here. So, I kind of get it. But I don't at the same time. But that police is thirsty. Like, why are you all in the parking lot? Why are you the police just driving around in the parking lot? And why the fuck is you looking at me? Racist police. But yeah, girl, that's why I just be in my own world doing my own fucking thing, bro. Ski. I kind of feel bad, but I don't feel bad that I didn't give that lady a tip. Like, I'm legit somebody that actually gives good tips when I go to restaurants. Like, if you do the right thing, you feel me? I'm generous. Like, I appreciate people that are in service work that's, you know, doing the best that they can to serve us. You know what? I think I'm going to go to Target while I'm over here. I feel like I might as well. Look at what the fuck people are doing. What the hell? I think I am going to go to Target, though, while I'm over here. Make sure everybody um, I'm already over here. I feel like I might as well. Let's go over here real quick, go to Target, get what I need, and then go home and take care of everything. Because I was like, I don't want this to be a short vlog, and I don't... I know I'm not going to have time to come out and do this again. So I'm like, let me just go ahead and take care of it now. But yeah, like I was saying, I'm normally somebody that I always give tips. Like I always be on people when they don't tip people. But I just believe in tipping people, bro. But like, if you give me shitty service or you don't like tend to me and I'm like the only black person in there, I'm going to feel away. I'm just that kind of person. I, I be feeling like everybody racist. So don't make me feel like that. 
but that's definitely like how I felt and um I wasn't feeling it because when I first came in there first off it took him a minute just to even seat me then after that after I'm um, hold on. after I get in there they seat me or whatever and the rest of the time that I'm in a restaurant she didn't serve me at all I know Kenny to get over it let me get over it you see my blinker ho let me get over it bitch damn I can't stand people like that I hope he still need to get over it thank you boots I can't stand no hoe like that like damn bitch let me get over it. you see what's going on boy yeah, I'm about to go over here to this Target real quick. But yeah, the whole time I'm in there, she didn't talk to me not one time. The, the first time she talked to me was once I already had my food. Like, she took my order. After that, somebody else brought me my water. But I asked, I told the lady I wanted water with the lemon. She didn't bring me no water with lemon. I see the uh, next thing I know, I see a table full. Uh, basically, it was like a whole family that was sitting like behind me or whatever. And their whole table had water with lemon in it. And then I'm looking at everybody else, like in a restaurant, I'm like, let me peep everybody else and just see if everybody else be asking for lemon with that water, right? So I'm looking around the rest of the restaurant and I don't see nobody that's asking for lemon and water, like not one person. Like I looked at everybody table type situation. I didn't see nobody else that had lemon in their water. Everybody else just had regular water. So I'm just like, I'm not gonna say nothing about it. So the lady who brought me my water, I asked her, I was like, excuse me, ma'am, can you bring me a lemon? Because I asked for lemon with my water, but I didn't get any. She's like, okay, no problem. She didn't bring me the fucking lemon. Another guy came and he actually served my food or whatever. And uh, when he gave me my food, I asked him for the lemon. He brought it right away. So once I'm like eating my food and I got a mouth full of food, the bitch wanna come up to me talking about some, the lady who like originally took my order. She came up to me and she's all like, oh how was your how was your meal going i'm like you know what can i actually get the check and um my, uh can i actually get the check in a box squeeze and so she gave me that or whatever but when she brought that she brought that with the fucking quickness like with the quickness like girl during, during this whole time you never checked on me you waited forever to finally check on me but by that time i was like well into my meal already so it was just pretty much like girl i don't even like now i want you to get out of my face because i'm eating now i don't want to be bothered but at no point did she check on me, so that shit irritated me. And then you couldn't do something basic like give me fucking lemon with water, bro. Like, what the fuck? If you gonna come out, come out and do your shit. Because I'm finna turn up in here. Y'all niggas ain't finna, um, yeah, you got a Bogart. Come on, um, white car. Damn. Big ass. I'm irritated right now, so everybody can get it right now. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> like, I'm crazy right now, bro. Yeah, I'm about to go over here to this Target. But basically, it was poor customer service. So once she brought me the check, she bring me the check or whatever. And uh, she was like, what, do you want your change? And I'm like, yes, please. Girl, I didn't give her nothing. My change was two fucking dollars. Normally, I wouldn't even care. I'd be like, bitch, let me get my, you know what I'm saying? I would leave the $2 there. Like, no, you can keep the change and I'm going I'm to go. But like, bro my change was two dollars <laughs> i didn't get a bitch two dollars <laughs> i took the receipt and my motherfucking change oh fuck you you was a, you got a terrible customer service and that's gonna teach her a lesson and i know she probably thinking like dang black people see black people don't tip no i tip very well i make sure anytime i go to a restaurant that i tip but for her i didn't tip her nothing because i'm like you didn't you didn't serve me what am i tipping you for for ignoring me and tending to the the family behind me the whole fucking time the whole time that i'm sitting there she's tending to everybody else in the restaurant when i say and i'm talking about multiple times and then the lady who was who gave me my water she was just hovering over everybody else and i asked that bitch for fucking lemon because the other bitch didn't give me lemon and she didn't give me none either so nobody in here getting no fucking tip all y'all could kiss my ass so that's how i felt about that but anyway, I'm over here at this Target over here. We're going to do a little bit of hygiene shopping. All I'm trying to do is just get skincare products. And hopefully they don't say nothing to me because I am not in the fucking mood. And I'm wondering, like, is it because it's Mercury Retrograde? Is that why? Like, people are, you know, 
doing their fucking job correctly because like it's not fucking rocket science my guy I, like i asked for something simple fucking lemons if you when life gives you lemons you make lemonade but you hold damn it's a lot of people at this target good lord what i don't understand is why do the whole family gotta go to target like why can't you just go to target real quick leave the kids and the man and the grandma at fucking home they be bringing the whole fucking house to target with them like oh girl i don't even know if i want to deal with this because i know the line finna be long as shit i don't know but i just drove all over here i mean they ain't really driving out the way because i really could go to the fucking target by my house to be honest it's way less people over there maybe i'll do that because i don't feel like they want this i'm that kind of person like if it's too many people somewhere girl i will get the fuck on but i did drive over here we might got better stuff over here anyway let me see if i gotta circle around too much for a parking spot then i'm for sure just not even gonna deal with it yeah we go this way make sure ain't no cars coming oh, yeah there's way too many people here right now i'm not gonna lie i hate going i hate going anywhere when it's a lot of people there it's a parking spot right here though i'm gonna go in real quick see what it's talking about girl can you fucking get the fuck with your old ass damn you in the way if i honk that i'll be wrong get into this spot real quick girl you gonna get your heels ran over doing all that slow walking shit like you don't see what's going on boo at least i got a parking spot in the front i'm gonna see what it's talking about let me hide my bath and body work like who on my panini damn my whole meal all spilt over for showdown sorry too all right you finna go to panini i mean to go and target y'all if it's too many people in here girl i'm leaving i don't have time i might do like the self checkout but when it be these kind of days it'd be hard to get a basket matter of fact before i do that i need to kind of make like a mental list of what i'm looking for that way i'm not just in here wandering around trying to figure out what the fuck i want listen ain't no carts in this motherfucker this is crazy this little one because this one is almost $20 and this one is like $5 cheaper okay so we're going to I already have this sunscreen it's actually really good and then excuse me where is the elf I hope there's a cream but it, the skincare right um yeah it's there too yeah okay thank you daily moisturizer cleansing balm face cream Makeup remover. What the fuck is an eye cream? Oh, here go eye cream. Okay, so you got us an eye cream. So now we're gonna get us a lip balm, but I want a lip oil too. Vanilla frosting. I think I want peach. I love stuff that's peach, but it's like nothing in here. These are like four dollars, but it's like literally. I think I'm gonna get to get the vanilla one. This smells amazing. I love this brand. If you ever see it here, definitely get it. But this particular scent, fire. I 
like this little brand here. This look like a cool little, it's a retinol serum. You do need retinol. Keep your skin looking youthful. I would get something like this, but really, I use coconut oil to take my makeup off, so I wouldn't use like cleansing balms. It's an antioxidant cleanser. Part of the reason why I hate fucking coming shopping when it be hella people is I can't just fucking be in my own little spot without somebody coming over there like, can you get that fuck on? Oh, I wonder what this smell like. Make sure my Last time I came here, they was like, you can't open stuff and smell it. Oh, this smells good. Oh my God. If I didn't just buy all that shit from fucking Bath and Body Works, I would definitely buy this. I've seen this a lot, like on TikTok. But I don't know. Yeah. Let's see this one. See, I came over here and the hoes came over here too. Like, get the hell out. That shit is so irritating. What are y'all? Secret shoppers, private shoppers, whatever the fuck they call them people. Like, stop fucking following me around, my horse. Get the fuck. I, I'm really, I'm a nice person, but I'm really not at this point. I need a lip oil. Let me see if I got lip oils over here. Let me see. Lip oil, bro. I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to go. Let me see. That, that's some cheap ass lip oil. This is lip oil from LA Girl. Oh, that shit out. That shit out. Oh, Milani got some lip oils. Cherry Green lip oil. See, Milani got lip oil. It's $10. I don't know if I want something that dark though. Like, is that gonna make my lips like that color? I feel like this would be better. Strawberry melon. It's $10. Oh, these some other little hoes. I thought them was the same other little hoes. I'm like, look y'all. Y'all better stop fucking following me around, boys. I kind of want to get this. But then I don't know, because it's like $10. Let me look online and see how much the elf one is. Okay, this is the one I was actually looking for. It's by NYX. I don't know why I thought it was elf. Maybe because they're both like lower end. But look like all these ones, they gone. I don't really want these other ones. I don't know how I feel about that. This seemed like it'll be too red. You feel me? This is way too dark. I'm like, well, don't nobody want that shit. This one look kind of pretty though. Follow back. It's like a glittery. Yeah, I see it kind of. I don't know, I might fuck with it. It's pretty. I want to try this little Maybelline gloss. I have so many other glosses though. I really don't need it. But then, this pink one. I love pink. Oh, it's cute. They like $12, but I don't need it right now. I need my speed in these cars. What's the name of this? Maybe I can get it later. It's called... I like this little collection. This looks so cute. I've seen this before, but I haven't tried it. But I ain't gonna try it today either, because I'm not spending $30 for one thing at Target. <laughs> Can't do this. I feel like I got everything I needed here, honestly. I just need like a lip scrub. Okay, let me go to the uh, little Ulta section over here. So they got a lip scrub for me real quick. 
If not, fuck it. You guys have um, lip scrub? Over here, no. I couldn't write you down one that I would recommend, but we just have it right here. No, okay. It's okay. I just needed something real quick. Thank you. I'm sick of these hoes looking at me. I had to cuss a bitch out. Like, bitch, what is you looking at, ho? Yes, I got my belly out. Damn. That bitch rocks her belly out all the time. That's why I just, like, I'm trying to find a mirror now. I think I found one. What is a, a mirror over here in peace? So I can take a quick selfie real quick. Alright, now y'all can see why everybody been fucking staring. Getting on my damn nerves today. <laughs> This is an outfit today. I've been had this. I got this from like, I don't even know. I got this shit hella long ago. We all see it. What's going on? Titty sitting pretty. Yeah. Let me see. That's how I was. Yeah, that's why everybody been staring today. With the Sachi sandals. I'm gonna get my little Target fit. My little Target pick. But I can't take cute pictures of the stuff I have in here because I have freaking ketchup and other shit in here other than, like, the skincare stuff. <laughs> it's, like, not aesthetically leaving, but I will post the other stuff, though. Yeah. It was such a beautiful day today. Like, oh, my gosh. I'm trying to see these mountains. Let me see how to turn it around. Yeah, see. Hold on. Can I see the mountains in the back? It's so pretty today. I love it. That's why I was like, bitch, I gotta come outside real quick. Fuck these toes. I spent 50 freaking... You know, Target is a fucking scam, bro. I spent $51 for that little ass nothing. Like, a face wash, some fucking ketchup, garlic ale. Like, girl, you really could have went. Because she's too busy trying to stare at me. But I don't blame you. You know what I'm saying? I'm something to see around this motherfucker. You feel me? I'm a sight to see, baby. You see it? I know your nigga do. Let me show y'all how beautiful it is. Hold on. Like, look how fucking beautiful it is today. It's so pretty. Like, you see all the mountains. It's a beautiful day in Burbank. But one thing that I have to deal with all the time is the stairs. And I hate it. Like, I hate people. I hate being around people. I don't like being in public places, especially when I just like, that's why I like to go to the store early, early in the morning, like early, early as possible, because if not, then I tend to have to like, just deal with people. It's like when I go to a section, here comes somebody. I go to another section, here comes somebody else, like right behind me, all up on me. I go to another aisle. It be to the point where I'm like, are you one of those uh, secret shoppers that be trying to see people stealing? Like, girl, leave me alone. I have thousands of dollars in my purse right now. I promise you I'm not stealing nothing. So, yeah, I got these two elf little oops. We're going to do a little car haul. This one is vanilla. Did somebody try this? Because it looks like somebody might have opened this before. This one is called Vanilla Frosting. It's only $4 for this little, um, hopefully the sun is blocking it out. Hold on. It's only $4 for this lip balm. Let me smell it. I couldn't open it up in there. This is an applicator. It's called vanilla frosting though. I just got something so like at night. Let me try it on my hand. Oh, it's nice and thick too. Okay. I like this. Oh, it smells just like vanilla. Okay, I like this. I would say this is like a mini dupe for those Sunday, uh, Sunday fri summer Friday lip balms that are like freaking $30 or some crazy shit. So I got those. Let me see what the peach one smell like. I know it just smells just like peaches, but I still want to try it. <sighs> the lighting, though. Let me put my little sun visor down. That's better. So a bitch can see what's going on. Oh, that shit just fell out. Okay, so this is the peach one. 
It's cute. Let me see, this is a little applicator, the same. I like these. They're only $4, bro. And they come out like that, y'all see. Maybe I should put some on now, fuck it. Right now, it's not gonna show no color because I got, oh, this smells so good. Oh, shit. Damn, I almost dropped it in between the thing. Okay, I like these. They're nice and thick. They're not like thin. And it's just a little lip balm. And I'm only gonna use these like at nighttime when I do like my skincare routine or whatever because I don't have a lip mask, but I think those would be good. And then I got this foaming, um, this is a purifying foaming cleanser. I heard really good things about this, so that's why I got it. I even seen it on Pinterest, so. And I got the smaller one because the bigger one is like $17 and this one is $14. And I didn't want to spend $17 on something without me like knowing if I love it. So I got this one. And then I got this lip oil that I'm for sure going to put on right now. It's in the color Follow Back. But bitch, you ain't even gotta follow me back. But this is what it looks like. This is the NYX lip oil. Now, the Dior lip oil is like $30. And although I could definitely spend $30, I'm not going to spend $30 on a freaking lip oil. But I like this stuff because it got a nice little a nice little glitter to it. And it has a little color. This is cute. Like, see, I could rock this every day, like, with my little, y'all see the little glitters in there? It's just a clear little gold, it's a gold boo up. Y'all see that? That is so pretty. So I got that. It's in the color Follow Back. Okay, Follow Back. You know what I'm saying? And it's nice, like, it feels good. I like this. So, I spent $51 for basically nothing. Like, oh, and then I got this eye cream by e.l.f. I mean, I saw everything I was getting while I was in there, but I'm still going to show y'all. Yeah, a quick little review. I like everything that I got, too, so I'm happy about that. But I got an eye cream because that's one thing that I don't have in my skincare. And then I'm going to do a skincare routine with y'all. But it's what I got. It's a nice size. You only need a little bit. I really like this lip oil. Okay. I might have to get some more. Shoot, I didn't know that was going to be that good. But yeah, I like the packaging for it. Elf is like, has really stepped their game up. So that's that. And then like I told you guys, I got freaking ketchup and aioli sauce. Because I'm bougie like that. I'm like, ooh, aioli sauce. I can use this on my burgers and my fries. So anyway... Oh, y'all want to see the stuff I got from Bath and Body Works. So, Bath and Body Works haul real quick. Because I don't want to do it at home. Because when I get home, I'm going to want to eat and drink and chill. So, I got this body wash. I already have, um, this one is called Costa Rica Pink Pineapple Surprise. It's a moisturizing body wash. So, this is what it looks like. It's really, really big, too. Like, this is big. It's bigger than, like, the lotion. Like, these are the lotions that they normally have. And then this is the body wash. So, you guys can kind of see. But I have this body wash at home, so I got the lotion to match. So I got this, because I really need a lotion, like, really, really bad, y'all. And then this is the mini lotion to that uh, body wash, the Costa Rica body wash. So this is a little lotion. I got this one. And then what else we got? We got Sweet Pea Body Cream. I love Sweet Pea. This is my favorite lotion from Bath & Body Works. I was getting this since the 90s, girl. Like, I love, love, love that fragrance. And then I got the Butterfly Collection. You guys saw that. So this is the moisturizing body wash. And this is the lotion. Like, when I get new, like, hygiene products, like, girl, I just be ready to, like, go take a shower immediately as soon as I get home. And then I got the spray, of course. This is the spray. Let me spray it up in here. It is sprayed on me. I love the way this smells. It just don't last. That's why I don't be getting these. Cause it be. But when you put the lotion with the body wash and the spray. And you just chill it in the house. It's cool. And then I got this hand wash for my bathroom. Or probably the kitchen. Because I be in the kitchen more. 
but I wash my hands a lot and I, I don't want to use my um I don't want to use my freaking like Dawn dish soap to be washing my hands so I got that and I think that was everything and then for everything I spent 50 how much was it my total was $49 plus tax is $54 so I spent $54 for all of that stuff. So that's everything that I got from Bath and Body Works. So let me do y'all do it again. I got this set. Cheese. Got this set. Got the butterfly set. Boo. This lotion. Hello Beautiful Lotion. Because I got the body wash at home. The sweet pea. And then the hand wash. So all of that stuff for $54. And then right now when I went to freaking Target, I spent $50, which is ridiculous. I'm kind of mad about it. But I got stuff that I genuinely needed i needed a lip oil for my skincare routine the lip balms are only four dollars i needed face wash and an eye cream and then the other stuff is just stuff for the house so now i'm gonna go to the liquor store by my house and go get me some liquor it's so crazy y'all so look the last time that i went to this liquor store by my house i seen one of my favorite freaking youtubers armand wiggins you guys probably i don't think you guys follow him but he does like a lot of like um celebrity commentary and stuff like that he talks more so about like female rap beef and stuff like that right um he talked about a lot of other stuff too but those are like his main things that he gets on just but girl i was like going i was just like going to the liquor store around the corner from my house like one random friday night this is literally like not this friday but the previous friday and I seen him, so when I first walk in, he's standing at the counter with, like, two of his friends. So, I, like, immediately cut and go to the back of the store and then walk to, like, where the drinks are. So, I'm back there, like, looking for a drink or whatever. And then he comes back there, and he started looking for a drink. And I was just like, hi, Armand. And he was like, hey, how are you? I'm like, I'm good. And then he was like, oh, you smell good. I was like, thank you. Because that's one of my things that people always tell me, like, because I smell good. Like, that's, like, that's, like, my thing. Like, I always smell good. So, I was like, ah. He said I smell good. But I was wearing one of them little perfumes that I got when I went to Dubai. The little Arabic perfumes. I don't even know what it's called. But I had one of those on. And yeah, he had me my, he gave me a compliment. He was like, what's your name? I was like, my name is Dominique. I, like, we talked like real brief, real quick. He was super cool. I love people like that that are like influencers, but they're humble. They're not like feeling like, ugh, like, you know what I mean? I don't like people that's like fake bougie or fake uppity and shit like that because I don't like that type of shit. But he was super cool, so that was cool. And um, and then, yeah, after that, he got his stuff. He left, girl, but I was just so happy to see him. And that's crazy because I seen him before, so I think he lived by me because I seen him before when I was uh, I was literally uh, leaving like right around the corner from my house and I see him on the corner. He was running, though. He was like exercising. You know how you stop at the corner when you exercise and you just jog in place real quick? And I was like driving and I was like at the light about to turn and I see him at the corner right there. And um, I wasn't finna scream out to him then and be like, oh, mine. Like, you know what I mean? But this time I seen him when I was at the liquor store and I'm like, this nigga must stay by me or something. I'm probably going to see him again. But yeah, so anyway, so now I'm about to make my way home. I'm going to eat this food. I just wanted to do a little vlog with y'all because I haven't vlogged in a while. I'm trying to see if I want to add more to the vlog. I might vlog again like another day out the week. It just depends. I'm going to edit this vlog, see how long it is. And then if it's long enough, I'll keep it. If not, then I will put some other stuff in there. But the vlogs ain't got to be long. Y'all just want vlogs. I don't think all my vlogs need to be like 30, 40 minutes long. But yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. I hate when I spend a lot of money, though. I didn't want to spend that much money at freaking target but it is what it is let's get up out of here so yeah i hope you guys did enjoy the vlog if you guys did let me know by liking the vlog drop a comment down below and i'll see you guys later